Well, this was a project that was put together by Northwest Salmon Research, along with Metro Parks, uh, Tacoma Public Schools, and the Puyallup Tribe, all came together to make this happen. And the idea is to instill in students a sense of stewardship over the Puget Sound that will hopefully carry on into the next generation. Northwest Salmon Research is kicking off its annual project to help grow the Chinook salmon population in the Puget Sound. And Eamon Keating and his robotics team will play a vital role in that project. You can't see the net down there. Gotcha. And so our, our job is really to take a robot down mm -hmm. and inspect the net without ever having to put a person down there. And if we can, if we do find a problem, we actually try and fix it with the robot. An experience that will give him more than just some good memories. I've learned all these really cool engineering skills. I've learned more about salmon than I ever thought I would know. Which is one of the goals of the project. Students will be feeding, studying, and caring for the salmon and testing the water quality for the next six weeks. And we wouldn't be the only ones who'd benefit from a replenished Chinook salmon population. We don't have enough orcas, and the, and the Chinook are their food. And so we're also raising this. That's why it's called the CORE Project, Chinook Orca Recovery Education, because we are trying to help the orcas survive by providing them their food. Preserving the shrinking Chinook population is a serious issue. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, only 22 of at least 37 historic Chinook salmon populations remain in northwest waters, and their numbers have fallen to as low as 10% of their usual numbers. Wayne Harmon remembers when the Chinook salmon wasn't even available. And there was a time when you couldn't get Chinook salmon. You just couldn't. Which is why he says it's important to teach young people ways to preserve the ecosystem. But after working with the students, he's confident that the Puget Sound will be in good hands. They're the ones who are telling us how cool it is. In fact, one of them uh, said to me, he said, you know, that's probably going to reduce the carbon footprint because now you're not using pumps and electricity up at the hatcheries. Now it's down here and it's all natural. I'm like, leave it to the kids. You know, they, they understand. Now, each of these salmon will also be individually tagged so future data can be gathered. And on June 14th, they'll be released into the wild. But for now, we're live in Point Defiance. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.